Hello everyone. Hey, hey. Marie. Um, so welcome guys to our first ever virtual developers conference. Um, we took some time getting things set up. Uh, you didn't so have to wait too way. long. Yeah. Now we are ready. And uh, so just to mix things up a bit, sessions of the sessions the whole day, we introduced a few podcasts here and there, little talk shows, um, where we are going to still talk about some tech related topics and uh, bring in some guests and so on. Um, so, Marine, what do we have right Today, now? Today we are live with uh, Delphine Bissesso and Neha Ganu. They are going to be joining in very, very soon. So, yeah. Yep. Neha, Delphine, welcome. Hi, Hi Marine. Hi, Venush. <laughs> hey, guys. Nice. Well, yes. girls, rather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, actually, um, the topic for today is going to be uh, a little talk about women in tech and context. And it's interesting that we have Neha and Delphine, both women in tech, but with different paths. So it could be interesting to see how it got there and what's their thought about um, this in Mauritius. So let's 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 hand over to you guys. Um, Delphine, why, why don't you just give us a brief introduction, um, what do you do, who you are, and after that, Neha. Okay, so, um, hi everybody, I'm, uh, I'm Delphine, I'm in tech, I've been in tech for nearly 30 years now, I guess, um, and uh, I'm currently uh, working on the, the topic of uh, decision for, uh, for a local bank. Um, I've been in Mauritius only for what uh, nearly ten years, um, so I haven't done all my career here. So that's probably I've got a, a different uh, path uh, to inhabit. Uh, we, we'll see about that later. Um, so I've done pretty much everything. I started as a developer and did uh, all sorts of things, but always very much um, hands-on by formation. And, uh, and at heart, so that that's me in a nutshell. Yeah, that's Thank nice. You. That's awesome. Um, and Neha, how about you? Um, who are you, and what do you do for our guests? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm a consultant in uh, digital marketing, brand content strategy, and all. Um, I was working uh, in the corporate environment a nine-to-five job and then I switched to independent consultant and I also have a startup. Um, we're here, it's in the fintech industry, artificial, techno artificial intelligence technologies. So yeah, consultant and startup. Yeah, That's pretty you, impressive. Yeah, you can see like the, the difference in background. <laughs> Like um, Delphine has been from the get go. She was already in tech. <laughs> where, you see? Um, on the other hand, Neha was um, working, was doing uh, marketing, and then eventually she started into digital marketing and stepped into the tech world. Exactly. So, like different perspective. So, Neha, um, since you kind of shifted into it, what what drove you? What made you think about yeah, let's <laughs> let's go tech? <laughs> well, uh, I guess. Uh about digital transformation, innovation, technology. Uh, I, love, I love designing websites and all. So I said, uh, why not? Let's try it and see where it goes. So then yeah, I started learning about it and I do it. It was like, uh, you know, it was meant to be. <laughs> so, then, uh, we... <laughs> so then, yeah, I, I switched uh, to digital marketing, uh, I love what I do, and then we, and then the startup came in artificial technology with my co-founder Niall. So we specialize in chatbots in automating business processes. So this is a really um, cool thing, which is uh, emerging technologies in how you can um, automate manual tasks, and so that uh, people can focus more on their business core models. So in a way, we, we wanted to help um, local businesses, medium of technology. So, um, yeah, in yeah, a nutshell, a... this is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great. So a, a, a woman in tech and an entrepreneur. Uh, 
<laughs> women yeah. in entrepreneurship. Um, <laughs> but uh, on the other hand, um, Delphine is in Mauritius, so you've worked um, elsewhere before. So maybe this is a good chance to get your perspective, like women in tech, um, from what you have seen outside of Mauritius and in Mauritius. And, and um, what do you think about it? What's, what was your journey like as a woman in tech? As a woman in tech, well, obviously, um, you know, if we, if we look back at wh when I started, um, then there were very few women in, in tech. I, I don't know if that ratio has changed, but, uh, uh, you know, engineering school, we had about 10% of, of women um, and changed much as, as I've progressed. Um, but I, I've had uh, the privilege of working mostly for uh, startups and, uh, and very companies. So in the sense, that thing about, you know, uh, a woman or whatever, there, there's, no, there's no difference. You know, you've, you've got a job uh, to do and you've got to do it because if you don't do it, then the company, and that's basically the bottom line. So um, if you're the right person for the right job, then, you know, you, you've got to get on with it. Um, man or woman, it's it's um, mm -hmm. coming to Mauritius. It's a bit different. Uh, that there is a, is a, a, a bit different, uh, I think. Um, but there shouldn't be um, there shouldn't be that much that much difference, though. <laughs> <laughs> because think about it, you know, uh, women are just as capable as men. <laughs> Especially when you're talking about uh, about technology, it's about using uh, uh, your brain, using your knowledge, using your um, your instinct also. Because tech is not just about uh, uh, you know, yeah, that's true. Very, very, yeah. very straight, mm, yeah. um, and yeah. we're not using uh, strength, physical strength. So there's no reason why not have uh, of the cake really on the, on that uh, <laughs> level. <laughs> um, That's but but I think, yeah, I think there, there's a, you know, whether it's, uh, it's at school or it's uh, just society or whatever, it, it just means that uh, women are not going into that domain as much as, uh, as men, uh, which mm -hmm. is a pity. Uh, I think we've, both, we've got different things to bring in. Um, and uh, I really encourage women to, to join. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's nice message. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, so I'm, I'm, I'm like the only man here. You guys, you, you don't have to take your anger <laughs> out on me. <laughs> oh, we're right not now. angry with it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, but I, I get where you're they've gone. We've always been pushing every year, like, um, come on, girls, um, more women, come and present, get involved. And I think it's improved. I did not look at the stats for this year. <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit. But um, eventually over the years, we did see that it improved and we were starting to get um, more women to, um, to come and present. So it's a, I'm going to say it's a work in progress. It's true. It's, it's culture and society, but it's a work in progress. And what's important is we don't let go. Um, we all need to adopt this kind of thinking, as you, you mentioned, Delphine. We are talking about women in tech now. I know she's hosting, <laughs> but uh, you are also, <laughs> you're also <laughs> one of them, Marine. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Marine, tell us, tell us. I'm a bit of a special case. <laughs> uh, since I've been working in tech, I bet that like the amount of women I see compared to the amount of men, it's very biased. Like, there are way more men in the tech industry than there are women. And I just don't get it because... I mean, we have everything to take over the world, guys. <laughs> <laughs> girl, girl. <laughs> I guess it's, it's the mindset years of years when people... Um, think about development, they all talk about men, but but of course um, it's changing. Uh, I also see, I see a lot of women, a lot of girls who like to code, like it's not, it's, I it's have both sides. And this is changing and like Vidur said, even if there are more girls presenting now. They are, we're very happy about this one because, yeah. Yes. yeah. 
But just to give you uh, uh, something I, I heard uh, from, uh, I had a brilliant intern uh, last year, and she's coming from Congo. And, um, uh, when uh, when I first met her, I said, well, why did you get in, in, to, in tech? Um, and she said, well, I want that. And then um, so she, she was living with her granddad and uh, and so she, she wanted to, to study in, uh, in uh, programming and engineering. And he said, but why should I pay for it soon? You're going to be the pro- property of someone else. And oh. it was like, and, and mm. she, she then went, well, I'm just going to show you what you're going to do. And, and she just went on and got grants and stuff like that from, from, uh, from big companies subsidize her studies. But I just thought, yeah, girl, that way to go. <laughs> you know? Way to yeah. go. <laughs> yes. Exactly. That's like that's like the extreme of the bias. The, 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 that's where you see the culture. Um, how how sometimes people think, uh, saying that yeah, yeah you're going to be the property. That's 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 not nice. Because <laughs> no, I mean, someone, century, yeah, right? she's yeah. her own person. She has to, she has to build her own future. It's, there is, there is no property of it. There's no human trafficking here. So, Thank um, you. <laughs> so just to show how, how bad, how bad it can yeah. be, right? So, and, sometimes and we don't the... realize it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, okay. Now this is a classic question, but um, since I have you guys here, this is a good time to ask it. And, you know, I don't know, maybe I have to change some habits too. I don't know. What about the workplace? This is something that is often related to not just women in tech, but women in general when working somewhere. Um, have you guys encountered, or if not you, um, heard from friends so on um, about workplace issues that seem for a woman to work um, personally? Um, well, it's open. Any one of you. <laughs> Well, this is a good feedback then. <laughs> that's the feedback is more about no no issue as such or no um, no discrimination or anything like that. But it, there is there is the fact that there, there's always that thought about does that woman have her place in the tech environment? Um, and uh, you know I, I've felt throughout my career that of course the answer is yes but you always have to prove yourself and and yeah. maybe you have to do always try to do better than yeah, what yeah. your male counterpart might uh, might do at least that's you know that's the way i've felt it's not been um, openly uh, mentioned or anything like that but that that's uh, that's something that you seem to have to prove yourself it's the environment that gives this vibe like you have to constantly prove yourself and be even better than um than the guys yeah, yeah. It's Just, the, yes it's, my place is here you know i belong here and and i mm-hmm. i'll prove to you that this is my place yeah. um I don't know no, how, that... what do you think <laughs> I mean, it's not a, it's not an it's not a um, an, a good environment, but it's, if you take the positive side for you, well, I think this built you into a very strong, capable woman who, who you know you faced all of it. But still, it's not a I, I don't I don't think this is an environment that should be condoned because this is kind of what makes it intimidating for girls to um to join tech then when they have this kind of pressure, this this kind of feeling. Yeah, that they have to prove themselves. Yeah. Like no one has to prove themselves. It should be oh, the same yeah. way. In yeah, exactly. whatever they do. It should be the same guys and girls both. Um and yeah, Neha, you any any challenges that you face? Anything you've seen? Um not really challenges personally, but I guess um, from what I've seen from um, the other organization that I work, that uh, I'm saying in general, even, so let's say the word, most of the women, they won't come forward. Um, they fear, there is the fear that uh, for their job, for the promotion, but this shouldn't be like this. Like, women should be able to speak up on everything. Um, even at the workplace, even on, on their job, on, on their task, on their um, male colleagues and everything. 
So I guess it's the, like I was saying, it's the mindset, the culture that's been going on for years and years that obviously it's, um, it's, pro it's uh, different now. Uh, there should be more people, um, more people who, who, ha who wants to break that culture, you know, new and different. Um, yeah. What do you think, Marie? Uh, this mm -hmm. this is this is definitely a first step. Um, us talking yeah, but about it. a lot of uh, <laughs> even in company culture, it's it's being happen. It's happening. The first step. So it's good. Yeah, yeah. In a way. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So, um, Marine, anything to add <laughs> or ask? Um. I don't think so. Would you, ladies, like to add something that we didn't talk about yet? Yes, any personal message, something you want to yeah. say? I think, um, I mean, obviously the topic to take, but uh, I think it's women in the workplace in general. You know, uh, women, I think, in at the uh, uh, top top level, even, you know, in the boardrooms or at the <laughs> management level, or executive levels, and, uh, um, and it's not just... The tech technology that's uh, uh, that's like that, but it's it's pretty much you know everywhere. There's only a, a few uh, where uh, when you think about it, you will think, oh, well, that's a domain for women, um, and a, a lot of the rest is uh, considered uh, you know the place for for men. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. it, it it should be you know. People should have more uh, open, um, and uh, and women shouldn't be scared uh, into entering those domains because, yeah. uh, as I said earlier, we we have different things to bring to the table, and it's very complementary mm -hmm. um, to to sure. have different perspectives. So, you know, let, let's get on with it. Yeah, <laughs> good. Yeah, I agree. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, like and yeah, in anything you want to a message for people like maybe women watching this right now, who would eventually want to step into to tech. Any message, anything to <laughs> help them take that first step. Uh, do, um, when you go to networking events, there are not uh, many women, so I would like to see more. Uh, like Delphine said, women shouldn't be afraid to venture in different stuff because. Um, um, all the women that are watching us here, uh, we are all the same. We are not uh, extraordinary, ordinary human beings. So if we can do it, you can do it as well. Anyone can do it. So yeah, go yeah. for it, girls. And it's fun. And it's fun and exciting. I'm... And we can do some really cool stuff as well. <laughs> yes, that, that's actually yeah. the part that's underrated in tech and, and maybe even STEM fields in general. It's fun. So it is. It is. you are missing it out is. if you worry about the like the culture, the society, the pressing out on the fun. No, <laughs> you should join us. <laughs> okay, yeah, so um, um, okay, so and now, of course there, there is a, always a community who is going to support, like we have yeah. right now. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly what I was about to say. As the as the only guy on this um in, in this room right now, in this virtual right now, um, yeah, we have plenty of communities here in Mauritius. We have plenty of um, uh, as part of the organization, we always try to make sure that we encourage um girls to come forward, present things. Um, this is this is kind of how you break that taboo, you know pressure, that, that um, wrong way of thinking. By talking about it, by girls being more present, girls um, rise, early, you know, then it makes it easier for the next one to come in and then the next one. Um, so yeah, if you're watching now or maybe after uh, the live stream as well, um, you guys should never be afraid to, to um, join any Go of the it. event. Go for it. But then again, um, it's not just me saying that there, I mean, there are three heroines here. Um, 
Um, I think with that, uh, we can wrap up this podcast. Um, a small little talk show. I think it went well. I mean, um, I've been keeping an eye on the live chat and uh, the, the feedback environment there is really great. Um, everyone is, is uh, I think this is, this is a nice representation of the tech community. It's not the whole representation because we know mm -hmm. the problem is, is here, but it's nice to see that um, guys and girls alike probably are here supporting the idea and and they are sharing stories. That's nice about oh, how um, yeah they, they've worked with women and mm -hmm. and um, the bias is false. We should um, like this this environment. It shouldn't be the case. So that's great. I guess we are gonna wrap up. Um, any closing notes? No. no? no. Goals. No, yeah. no. <laughs> I'll put your stuff here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, with that, I guess uh, we are going to take a short break and then uh, we'll see you guys in the next uh, session. Um, cheers and keep the chat live, guys. Keep talking okay. about it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.